The questions my generation is asking are the following. If I can summarize, it is that we do not understand how Africa, with so much wealth in our soil, with generous nature, water, sunshine in abundance, how Africa is today the poorest continent. Africa is a hungry continent, and how come they are head of states all over the world begging? These are the questions we are asking ourselves, and we have no answers so far. We have the opportunity to forge new relationships, and I hope that these relationships can be the best ones to give our peoples a better future. My generation also asks me to say that because of this poverty, they are forced to cross the ocean to try to reach Europe. They die in the ocean, but soon they will no longer have to cross because they will come to our palaces to seek their daily bread. As far as what concerns Burkina Faso today, for more than eight years, we've been confronted with the most barbaric, the most violent form of imperialist neocolonialism. Slavery continues to impose itself on us. Our predecessors taught us one thing. A slave who cannot assume his own revolt does not deserve to be pitied. We do not feel sorry for ourselves. We do not ask anyone to feel sorry for us. The people of Burkina Faso also have decided to fight, to fight against terrorism in order to relaunch their development. In this struggle, valiant people from 20 populations have pledged to take up arms in the face of terrorism. This we affectionately call the VDP of volunteers. We are surprised to see the imperialists calling these VDPs militias and all kinds of things. It is disappointing because in Europe, when people take up arms to defend their homeland, they are called patriots. Our grandfathers were deported to save Europe. It was not with their consent, it was against their will. Well, on returning, we remember well that at Teaore, when they wanted to claim their basic rights, they were massacred. It doesn't matter then that when we the people decide to defend ourselves, we are called a militia. But that's not the problem. What is the problem are African head of state who contribute nothing to these people who are fighting, but who sing the same song as the imperialists, calling us militias, calling us men who don't respect human rights. Which human rights are we talking about? We take offense at this. It is shameful. We African head of state must stop behaving like puppets who dance every time the imperialists pull the strings.